think everybody wanted to see how Arsenal would respond to losing against Manchester United. And the response was absolutely fantastic. You can make the argument that Brentford weren't anywhere near as good as they usually are. You may have a point there, but Arsenal, I, I thought, played, a, played their part in that. You can also make the argument that Arsenal really haven't faced any true tests outside of Manchester United, which are lost. Outside of that, you look at Brentford, you look at Palace as, as the two other meaningful um, opponents that they, that they played against. And I think they passed both of those with flying colours, albeit in different ways. I thought they were very good against Brentford and ran away with it. I thought they were under pressure at times against Palace, but ground out a result. So they have the makings of a team that can chase down the best in the league. Will they get the, will they get the better of the best in the league? I'm not convinced just yet. Did, they, did he, did, did Shaq answer the question, are they contenders <laughs> or not? They are very much in the chasing pack, oh. is the <laughs> summation of all of that. Frank, I want to talk to you about Saliba. He was outstanding today. Oh, boy. Uh, who's that? Saliba. Oh, Saliba, yes. Saliba, I mean, I, again, you know, uh, Saliba play, uh, f has been playing for Arsenal, supposedly, for many years where he had a contract. But I saw a big change last year when he played for Marseille and he was on loan, where that guy became a, a grown-up, uh, um, very much a grown-up, uh, and being a leader of, uh, of the Marseille defence. It's why Marseille tried to keep him. But that was clever for Arteta to call him back, uh, because since the beginning of the season, the guy has settled down very well, uh, working, uh, working hard defensively, but also scoring goals, two goals so far, and uh, being a real threat when it comes to, uh, to, uh, to the 16-yard box of the opponent for corner kick. So um, he's with the national team. Didier Deschamps called him. He's absolutely the future of France, that's for sure. And I'm pretty certain that he's going to be the future of uh, Arsenal. Would you bet against Arsenal as a title contender right now? Yes, I? yes, I would bet against Arsenal as a title contender. Unlike Shaka Hislop, I am going to take a position here. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.